slightly inclined. Because of this, Earth has seasons like summer and winter. Then the planet Mars. Mercury and Venus are called the inferior planets as their orbits are inside Earth's orbit and those outside Earth's orbit are the superior planets. The soil on Mars is rich in iron which makes the planet appear red and it is called the red planet. Mars has two moons. Then comes the Jupiter. It is the largest planet in the solar system and it rotates very fast completing one turn around itself in just 10 hours. Then next is Saturn. It has rings around it and its density is less than that of water. That means if there were a large enough ocean of water, this huge planet would float in it. Then comes Uranus and Neptune. These planets are the outermost planets of the solar system. Now we'll see about asteroids. There is a great distance between the two planets, Mars and Jupiter. We can see small remnants of heavenly bodies revolving in this gap. They are asteroids. Then comets. A comet too is a celestial body. Comets revolve around the sun in elliptical orbits. But they have very long periods of revolution. A comet consists of a brilliant sphere called its head and a long tail. The tail is always on the side opposite to the sun. As the comet moves nearer to the earth, the tail gets longer. For example, Halley's comet is seen once in 76 years. Then we'll see about meteors. When some celestial body comes near the earth, the earth pulls the body towards itself. That body falls at great speed through the earth's atmosphere. As it falls, friction with the constituents of the atmosphere causes its temperature to rise and it begins to glow. This is called a meteor or we can say a falling star. Now about the artificial satellites. India has put several satellites into orbits around the earth for the benefit and progress of mankind. These are artificial or man-made satellites. India's satellites are Aryabhat, INSAT, IRS, Kalpana-1, EJUSAT, Bhaskar, etc. They are used for making contact with things in space and for communication, for weather forecasting, for telecommunication and broadcasting programs on radio and television, conducting space research, implementing educational programs, making accurate maps. You must have seen the astronauts. So what they eat when traveling in space? They are able to eat in their weightless state. In fact, like us, they have both solid and liquid foods. They have their food directly from closed packets so that it does not fly into the air. This food provides them all the food constituents and vitamins they need.